Yo, what's going on, guys? Adam's Talk Sports coming back at you for video. Let me go explain what's going on, okay? The reason there was no video yesterday is because my, the Wi-Fi was out. Like, my, my whole house, my Wi-Fi was out. So, I'm making a video Sunday. Here we go. Um, sorry, no live stream, no reactions. I'm making one video, Clemson game, and then about the other games. And I'm going to be basically, basically just taking on the teams that lost. Anyway, okay, so we absolutely hit our offense in the second half. Like, I, I don't know what happened. We, we, we were playing hide-and-seek. We were playing hide-and-seek. And they couldn't be found in the second half. This was absolutely embarrassing. It was just a sh it was a shit show. I was getting so pissed off. We we didn't we we didn't we didn't it looked like we didn't even try. I, one of my friends said we we had zero passes in the fourth quarter. Zero. If, if you're kicking seven field goals, you can't. Like this is just so unserious. Five hundred yards for two touchdowns. My God. We put up 500 yards against NC State. We scored 45 points in the first half and 60 in the game. We put up 500 yards against Florida State and we put up 29 fucking points. I am just absolutely just annoyed. I'm not pissed off. I was pissed watching the game, but I, looking back on it, I am just so annoyed. It, it really feels like Dabo and Garrett Riley took the took took the foot off the gas pedal, and Tony Williams dropped a touchdown pass, but. The offensive line held up, and I'll tell you what, man, it could have been a lot more close if Florida State's receivers would have caught the ball. I am really, I'm worried about, because I think I think the offensive picks. I, I don't know, emotional night, Bobby Bowden record breaking graduation stabo. Um, emotional didn't want to make it a nosebleed, and you know, all that with. What did it remind me? Of? I mean, just we just, it, I've never seen this before. Like I, I really haven't. Like. It was an emotional night, so maybe maybe he didn't want to just, you know, make this a blowout. And I don't know, man. It felt like I was pleased with the first half. I was pleased with it. Second half, it was like six game. I don't know. I've never seen anything like that. I'm more worried about the back seven. I, I don't know, man. Jaden Lucas has just been picked on after picked on after picked on. He he we 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 fell out of that Georgia game because of Jaden Lucas. You know, Terrell is locked down. Shelton Lewis is somewhat reliable. He got, I think he gave a touchdown um, last game. And um, so, um, yeah, uh, you know. Um, but, you know, Hampton or 23, he's uh, he's okay, but he's just a freshman. Uh, Coble is, mm, I, I don't know, the secondary isn't great. Mickens is all right. I guess the safety deal is not terrible. Khalil Barnes gave up a big pass. Mickens is a senior, so he hasn't really done anything bad. I mean, they can't run the ball in Clemson. He can't run the ball in Clemson. Um, or at least Florida State couldn't. Uh, 200 yards for Stanford last week, but only like 10 or 15. Brock Glenman, he, he, that dude plays hard, man. That dude plays hard. That dude plays hard, man. But like I was saying, that dude, Brock Glenman, he plays hard, man. He should be quarterback the rest of the year. I think DJ got surgery. Maybe it's real. I was I was kind of trolling. It was just very inconvenient, but maybe it was real. Um, but it was just very – anyway, I talked about that. Um, Starting for the rest of the season, Brock Glenn. He's – I'm interested to see how he does, you know, when he gets, plays Duke and then he'll get the rest of the team. They won't make a bowl. They're one in five. They got to win uh, five of the next six. Notre Dame, Miami is on the schedule still. That would be at least seven. Maybe they can somehow go five and seven. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, man, basically just summing it up. <laughs> okay, Tar getting tired of that. Basically just summing it up. Just why did the offense go hiding, man? I, I don't understand. I, I just, I don't. I don't understand if Debo wanted just to make it classy because it was, you know, the whole, you know, an anniversary of, of breaking Bobby Bowden's record. I, I don't know, man. Um, I don't understand, man. I don't understand. Um, y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. What? Why? Why did? Why did it feel like just? It just felt like we just weren't even trying to score when we got to the, got inside the twenty-five. I mean, it just didn't feel like we were trying. First down play. We run something stupid. Um, stupid. Uh, I don't. I don't know. What, we, what? What did we run on first down? We'd roll Kate out. Try to hit Cole Turner, or Olson, Pat Henry. Great players. Good players. When it's the second half. Burning still. I've never been a Burning still fan, man. I've never been a Burning still fan. Where's, where was TJ Moore? Where was the TJ Moore fade? Where was a Brian Wesco go route? 
where's the plays that have been working? Why not give it a muff on first down? You know, like, why not roll Kate? We tried to run Kate on third, but that pissed me off so much, man. Why not, you know, hit Antonio Williams on an out route? The things that we've been working to hit the end zone. Like, don't understand, man. Don't, just don't understand. Don't understand at all. The plays that have been working, we did not run them. We did not run an Antonio Williams out route on that third and four. We didn't, you know, we didn't. TJ Moore scored that screen. He Did he see the field again? Obviously he did. I'm just trolling, but just, just, I don't understand, man. It didn't feel like we were trying. 500 yards and 29 points, that is unacceptable. If we play like that against Pitt on the road or Tech on the road or, hell, even Louisville at home, hell, even next week at Wake Forest, it could be a lot more interesting. Florida State had a ton of issues working out or working their offense out. You know, their defense is not great, but could have been could have been nerve could have been could have been bad if they go to get that two. Could have been bad if they go to get that two and made a couple more catches. Brooklyn, he's a good quarterback, man. I'm telling you, I think he's a, I think he's actually a pretty good quarterback. I, I can't wait to see what Florida State looks like. They play Duke next week, right? Are they off? They, the Dukes are next game. Can't wait to watch that. Can't wait. Can't wait to see what they uh, what he looks like when they play uh, Duke. Um, but just hiding, I, I don't know. Here's Columbus' offense. Fucking hiding. I, I don't know, man. Hiding it, hiding it in the second half. 23 points in the first half. Pleased. Six points. And two were blocked, man. What, what were we doing blocking, man? Two. Huge swing. I mean, they, they, the whole, it couldn't have been, I mean, just bad. We did not play good in the second half at all. Just, that was the worst second half since Georgia, period. We put up six points, gave up six. Tied Florida State in the second half. Poverty. But, um, listen. I'm happy to get a win, though. I'll say that. Happy to get a win. 4 and 1. Listen, we're taking this. Alright? A lot of people, first game, say, shit, we could lose to App State. Might lose to NC State. Could lose to Florida State. We sit here, 4 and 1. Thrilled. Listen. We got one ranked team on schedule. Pitt. Blue will be tough. They could be back in the top 25. Who knows? But just keep handling business, man. Just keep handling business. All right, guys. I'm going to go. About to eat the win. I'm about to make this uh, trolling video about all the teams I lost. So that will be uploaded about two hours later. So peace.